Hey everybody, this is Jim with Glasses and I'm streaming Starfleet, Starfleet Academy. Yay! Star Trek, Starfleet Academy. Correction. Oh, hey, I'm tired. <laughs> well, uh, last time we ended the game doing pretty well. We busted through several different scenarios. Caught the Vanguard. Supposedly now we got to figure out who really killed the colony, which is cool. Um, I had up on my Twitter poll what, you know, hopefully you guys saw that. If you didn't, I'm sorry, I'll get to it next time. But uh, King's Quest V won, so that's super exciting. And I have it loaded up just in case. I don't think we're going to finish this game tonight, but if we did, I have it loaded up and ready to go. Okay. It was a billion degrees today. So hot. Um, which makes me feel like, Bleh. So I have no idea whether or not... Um, we made some interesting choices. One was... We chose to cheat like Kirk on the Kobayashi Maru, and I don't know. There's a couple of different choices we made, and I don't know if at the end they're going to be like, sorry. <laughs> you know, you didn't do so well. We'll see. But right, let's get going on that. Continue. All things must end, cadet, and it seems the Sun Serpent has awakened from its sleep like the legendary Phoenix rising from the ashes. The good people of Taxius 1 and Taxius 2 cannot be evacuated in time. And there is only a few more days until the sun goes nova. Your mission, simply enough, is to find a solution to their problem. Uh -oh. Ah, yes, one more thing. Admiral Kennick has returned, as well as a Klingon ambassador, one whom you have met before. And now, all the components have been laid before you. Just lift up the last Matrushka top, and you will see the final doll before you. <laughs> or will you? We may not, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, game. Captain's log, stardate 4347.6. I feel we're nearing the end, one way or the other. We must figure out how to stop this sun creature while trying to capture Captain Horn. I also have the feeling that we're going to need all the luck we can get. Great. Well, this has been interesting so far. Romulans and Klingons working together. As if it would ever happen in real life. It could happen. Captain, we're being hailed by Admiral Tenek. On screen. I have news regarding the Romulan you encountered earlier. Hmm. Go ahead. Thanks. They are known as the Vashar, a group dedicated to taking over the Romulan Empire. <laughs> Hi, life of finds a way. Amplifier? Yes. An alien artifact that triples the Thank power you for of a being a friend. What does the I wish I could pause this, but I can't. Artifact. Thank you for the host. My Bofi. only duty is to stop the Vashar and retrieve the amplifier. Okay. I have no idea what you just said. That was actually the real cast members of the original Star Trek Life of Finds a Way. Welcome to the stream. So that was really, um, oh man, I'm so tired. Come on. <laughs> Sulu's counterpart. Why can I not remember this? But anyway, that was really him. Oh my gosh. That's how tired I am. That's how hot it was today. It fried my brain. All right. How can we trust with the amplifier? How do we know? How can we trust you with the amplifier? How do we know the empire won't use it against the Federation? Thank you for being a friend. Thank you for being a friend, Cheddar Man. Yeah, Chekhov. Duh. His name is Chekhov. There we go. That was the real Chekhov. You get to see the real Captain Kirk, um, not the real Bones. And at least we haven't yet in the real Sulu. We haven't seen the real Nichelle Nichols either. <laughs> Elliot made that gift to man. Isn't it great? <laughs> it's going good. We just started up. So uh, we're supposed to, you know that um, they're calling it a sun serpent now. That huge sun eating animal we stunned earlier. Well, it's woken up. We got to figure out a way to deal with it. And then we got about five or six different things to do. So the first time we're definitely not going to succeed in this mission, but hopefully through our failure, we'll figure it out more. How are you doing, Cheddar Man? Hope you were someplace cool today because it was ridiculously hot outside. All right. How can, we, how can we trust you with the amplifier? How do we know the Empire won't use it against the Federation? That's very true. Hmm. Hmm. We'll help you all we can. How can we trust you with the amplifier? How do we know the Empire won't use it against the Federation? Aww. Hi, Morwen. Morwen says, hi, Jen. We are dog-sitting and she's snuggling with us right now, getting lots of pupper snuggles. Aww. 
You do not have to trust me, Captain. The only thing that matters to me is the return. Of the it's throwing off my dance. Touchy, isn't she? We can't all be as cordial as you. Captain, thank you for being a friend. Thank you. So my response to her was, how can we trust you? And she's like, you have to trust me because the amp amplifier is ours. All right. Uh... Magia, hail the Klingon. Aye, sir. This is Captain Forrester of the it's USS Ranger. It's Jermak Bounce Back, beautiful hair guy. Me? Captain Forrester, I am Ducret of the Tsakak clan. You have not forgotten me, I assume. I have information you need. We saved your wife and kid, right? <laughs> Chairman, I had to move my you had to commun commu ugh, you had to move your computer, so it's kinda random. I hate every time I have to move my computer, Chairman. I hate it. I don't have to move very often, but every time I do, I get so angry about it. Oh, she's an old dog, Morwen. Oh, so she have to like pick her up. If if this was your dog, I'd say get one of those ramps for your bed where they can, like, climb up by themselves. Well, what is it? It is an honor to meet you again, sir. What is your information? You'd better remember what I did for you, Decret. <laughs> He's got this really good, like... <laughs> it no. is an honor to meet you again, sir. This is the guy is that we rescued his wife and son from the other Klingon guy who's the bad guy. So... I don't want to say, I don't want to be, why would we be rude to him? I mean, he shot at us a bunch of times, but we lived. Stupidity is not a trait limited solely to human. The Klingons you met earlier were trying to buy the Romulan amplifier to advance their power in the Empire. Mm. You know about that? Of course the you know Klingon that. Empire knows about the amplifier. Okay. I didn't mean that. I was just surprised that the Federation didn't know that you knew. Oh, Skadavia, you found your wedding ring. Where was it? I told you they turn up. They disappear and turn up. Where was it? Where'd you find it? In the washing machine? In the dishwasher? Behind a sink? Underneath the couch? <laughs> In the couch cushions? All right. I didn't mean that. I was just surprised that the Federation didn't know that you knew. I'm just surprised the Klingons have that kind of information. This seems rude. Both of these are like a terrible answer. I didn't mean that. I was just surprised that the Federation didn't know that you knew. Understandable. So, what do you intend to do with this Klingon vessel? We'll try to capture them if possible. In the grass at your old house? That was dangerous. <laughs> like, you would have been like, bye! Buy wedding ring at old house. <laughs> the chairman says, the Federation didn't know that I knew that you knew. Oh, the Lonneman mode. Oh, yeah, it could have been totally torn up. You could have had a very avant-garde wedding ring, <laughs> Skadavy. <laughs> we'll try to capture them if possible and send them back to the Empire for a trial. If they attack, if they attack, I will destroy them. That's stupid. I will destroy them. We've proven that we can't destroy things we'll try very to well. capture them. <laughs> That's the spirit, Forrester. I have information that those worthless Quahone plan to buy the artifacts in a system called Faxius. Interesting. What was that? Uh, nothing. I'd be honored if you would accompany us. A Klingon does not shrink from dealing out punishment, nor do they shrink from their debts. True, Morwen, true. Of course laid in, Captain. All right, so... We have to figure out how to... We have to capture Margaret Horn and also retrieve the artifact, but also deal with the giant sunworm thing, so... I don't know how we're going to do that. Be prepared for us to die. Going to warp! Woo! <laughs> Cheddar Man, Man say Klingons do shrink from being in a cold pool. Little known fact. Captain, I'm picking up a Good Romulan now. heavy cruiser and a Klingon D7. 
each are heading for the asteroid belt. Those must be the rebels that Ducret and Tenek were talking yeah, the about. D7 we've I'm found also before. picking up another smaller ship heading from the first planet toward the asteroid belt. It's the Raven. It's up to you, Captain. <sighs> Hail both Ducret and Tenek and tell them to keep the rebels busy. We'll go after Horn. Yeah, I think we should go after the Horn. Both Ducret and Admiral Tenek have agreed to engage the enemy. Then let's go get Horn. Course laid in, Captain. There we go. We're warping within the system. That seems really dangerous, but that's what we do. And we're in front of a sun. Hail. The heavy cruiser is decloaking, Captain. I'll say this, Forrester. You are persistent. Captain Horn, I suggest you surrender the amplifier. Her makeup is so you nice. You have nowhere to run at this point. Hey, Zombie Sadly, Man! you're right. Look, Captain, I'd just like a chance to defend myself. Is that too much to ask? No. I was the one who released the Sun Serpent. Oh, crap. In a mining accident in our very own asteroid belt. Then you were the one responsible for all this. Very observant. Hey, Zombie Man! I'm also the only one who knows how to stop that thing. It's photon torpedoes, and with the Romulan artifact, I can kill it with one shot. But your ship isn't made for torpedoes. Won't that destroy your ship? It's either that or let millions of people die. I've or already evacuated my crew. I'm willing to make that sacrifice alone. Why, Maggie? I'm Why asking you to Maggie? do what's right, Captain. We're not let that close to her. Let me destroy the creature. Let me make up for everything I've done. Oh, we're going to try and save her from herself. Uh, yeah, if you guys didn't know, King's Quest V won my poll, so that's what we're playing next whenever we beat this game. King's Quest V. You're right. I'll let you do it. I'm sorry, but I can't let you do that. Much more is at stake here than the people of Thaxius. I'm going to beam you aboard. Neither of these seem right. Like, why can't we just do it ourselves? We have a bunch of photon torpedoes. I don't want to let her kill herself. We're going to beam her over. I'm sorry you feel this way. Captain, I'm getting an unusual energy reading from the Raven. It appears she's going to fire the torpedo. Robin, get her out of there now. Okay, we, where are we supposed to... No, not... Yo, where's she at? There she is. Robin, did you beam her on board? She can't fire the torpedo if she's not on board. We got her, Captain. Security has already taken her to a holding oh, cell. Oh, good. I thought I had Great. to do it. Now, what do we do about the sun creature? Okay, there's the raven. Where's the sun creature? Well, we have to hit it with photon torpedoes, right? Well. Mm. You're saying... Photon torpedoes can kill it, so let's try to do that. Delure the sun creature away. Okay. When's it gonna start coming after us? Look at it. It looks like a like a mosquito larva. It's very threatening. I'm like, I don't like the look of that thing. Upper shields have been hit. Who is attacking us? Upper shields down to fifty percent. Upper shields are at critical, sir. Forward shields have been hit. Support has been hit. Who are you? Can you please? Oh, it's a rebel cruiser. What are you even doing? Stop it! Forward shields are hit. Look here, you jerk. Forward shields repaired. You back up? I'm like literally trying to get my ship to back up and it's like, oh. Well. Okay. We're using all our phones on torpedoes and this is Yahoo. Shoot! Why did you slow down? Did I take out your did I take out your engines and now I'm too close to you? Just get right up on you. This is not a good strategy, guys. Where's the sun at? There it is. 
Upper shield's repaired. Okay, let's go over the sun creature. <sighs> Captain, the Kretsch ship was just destroyed. Oh no. Crap. Are we supposed Captain, to go? The enemy D7 is attacking us. Great. Hi. Him. Yeah, I bet life support's been hit. You guys. Well, we just rammed him to death. Great. Well, what's this? We don't want. Lower shields repaired. Lower shields online. Alright, let's see if we can go in here. Dang it. Sun creature. Closer to the sun. Phasers are operational again, Captain. Oh, good. Our phasers are offline. Not really interested in this. I'm a little bit nervous about. How are we gonna lure it away without getting caught? Because we get close to the gravitational field, our ship is gonna start breaking up. 